So you have an MRI scheduled and you never had one, or maybe you had one before and you are claustrophobic. What do you do? You have a couple options. First option you have is if you have a open MRI in your area, I posted a picture. These are This is what it kind of looks like here, open MRI. Basically, you have something still over your face, but it's open on the sides. See, if you're getting your brain scanned, neck scan, stuff like that, you're still going to be wearing some kind of helmet. But if you're getting like your shoulder scanned or your back scan, you may be able to, you know, turn your head and look to the side out. So that's cool. So you, if that's not good enough for you um, or they don't have an open MRI, they only have like, you know, the regular MRIs. Some of the bores, some of the, the openings and the newer MRIs are bigger. For instance, they have a 3T with a wide bore. They have they, There's more space in there. You know, you're able to put bigger people in there, claustrophobic people. Don't find it as bad. I'm going to post a picture of that coming up. Um, so, you don't, say if you don't have an open option, I would suggest you that you talk to your doctor to give you sedation. Um, something like Valium, some kind of anti-anxiety medicine. I'm not a doctor, but that's what they usually give to these patients. Um, it will help you a lot and you won't even care that you're in the machine. You'll be out of it. Some places have music. Ask for music. If, if you can get music, listen to some calming music. Um, definitely, I suggest maybe putting a towel over your head or uh, some kind of blindfold. Um, prior to your exam, if you don't practice meditation, um, I think everyone should meditate anyway. But if you can get into a med meditation and just meditate through the scan. Most scans are 25, 30 minutes. If you're getting contrast, you're looking at 40, 45 minutes. So it, just meditate. And also tell the tech to talk to you, give you a countdown. How much time do you have left? You know, don't ask them if you can take breaks because you can't really take a break because when they're taking images of you, everything has to be lined up in the same. You can't take a break, come out. You, you can't, or you're gonna have to start over or your pictures won't match as well. And this is not good for the radiologist reading your exam. So those are some things. Also, you can, most places let you bring in somebody. If you want to bring in, you know, your, your wife, your friend, whatever, the husband, whatever, to stand next to you during the, you know, while you're in the machine, they can hold your hand. That's fine. They just have to be screened and safe to go in. But I've seen that help a lot too, especially if you have a kid. You bring your kid to MRI, you definitely want to go have someone come in there with your kids, support them, talk to them, you know. Just know that you're not the only one that's ever been claustrophobic and getting an MRI. There's a lot of people that don't want to go in there, but for a lot of things, this is the best imaging for, for you, and you have to tough through it, okay? So those are the things. Look for open MRI, looking for a new newer MRI with a wider bore, typically a 3T, but they have 1.5 Tesla magnets that have a wider bore. Talk to your doctor about sedation. Try to get some sedation. Talk to the imaging center about sedation. Um, that's it. Have someone come in there with you. Maybe ask if they have music, blindfold. Those are the best. Those are my top recommendations. Um, it is loud in there. Um, sometimes you can ask for earplugs and a headset, depending on what scan you're getting. You know? Hey, I've even seen people come in with. Uh, those uh, essential oils and stuff like that, you know, that could help too. Hey, if you're into uh, taking edibles, you know, cannabis, medical marijuana, I wouldn't say come in there reeking of it, but if you can eat an edible and just be calm and come in there, listen to some calm music before you get in there. Uh, definitely want to avoid caffeine. Those are some tips for, uh, for me as a tech, you know, I've been a tech for almost four years, so... Those are some of the things I recommend if you're going to have an MRI or if you're a tech, you know, try to a newer tech, you can apply these. Thanks.